What's going on guys, Dorko back again, hope you're fantastic today and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. If you remember last episode, things got pretty weird, um, where Sayori went home feeling a bit off today, and things are starting to get a bit weird, um, yeah, yeah, I really appreciate the support guys on the channel, uh, just want to say that I love you all to pieces, just thank you very much uh, for supporting me, and yeah, why not leave a like, okay, okay, so, but of course, I'm going to go with... Guys, you see, I promise you, I 100% promise you guys that this is a really difficult decision to make, okay? So I might even do some extra episodes after this ending um, and pick Sayori or something because I really like Sayori and I do feel really bad for her, but I really like Natsuki. So I'm just going to stick with my stick with my track at the moment and not go to different paths just yet. But you, you never know, like I said... I might go and just do a different paths later on in the future, okay? So we're gonna go with Natsuki. I've got a saved state here, so I can always go back and pick Sayori and stuff like that, so it doesn't matter. Natsuki. Well, baking sounds like it could be fun, and you guys make it sound like a lot of work, so it could probably use two people. Don't worry, baking is a ton of fun. You'll definitely agree. Eh? Just a minute ago you were saying that. Eh, that's because. Never mind, okay? Well, anyway, you'll be fine by yourself, right, Yuri? Of course. I'm used to it, after all. That's good. Oh, God. They all seem annoyed at me. Even though Yuri is being melodramatic, it's a little hard to not feel bad. So that's everything, right? Anything else we need to talk about? No, I think that's it. Are you guys excited? Yes! Everything except the performance is going to be awesome! I don't think that really counts. What about you, Darko? Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Yori? Yori? She's still sulking. Natsuki starts pouting too. It's not... I mean, it's not that big of a deal or anything. Well, it might not just be that. I think that Yuri might just be feeling a little underappreciated in general, having to come up with something for her to do and then nobody offering to help. That doesn't mean... Uh... Natsuki glances back and forth at, between everyone with a worried expression. Look! Natsuki goes over to put her hands down on Yuri's shoulders. Yuri, you really are the most talented one here. And... And you're gonna... You're going to help make the event a lot more fun and welcoming. I mean, the cupcakes will probably help a lot too, but you're going to make the atmosphere special. That'll be really important for the way that people feel during the performances. So, you need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little more credit. Natsuki releases her hands and turns around to face the other direction. You didn't really mean that, did you? Um, no, not really, but... Yuri isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I also taken aback by Natsuki's words. Natsuki of all people to be saying such encouraging things. But I begin to understand. Natsuki was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work per perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. I'm sorry for being dumb. I'm going to do my best. And all of us are going to make it a really great event. Yeah. Yeah. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Okay, but I'm staying here a bit longer. I barely got to do any reading today, so... Fair enough. There's nothing wrong with that. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Yuri out to the door as they chat between each other. Um, where are you going? Eh? We still need to figure out our plans for this weekend. <laughs> you literally would have got him home and realized that you didn't even have a way to contact me. Oh, that's true. I have no idea how that slipped my mind. Jeez, good thing I stopped you. I'm giving you my number, okay? You, you better not make it weird or anything. Why would I do that? Hmm. Natsuki gives me her number. Okay. I'm coming over on Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. Wait. You're coming to my house? Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean, I just figured that since I'm the one helping, I would be going to your house. Yeah, right. Like I 
could have a guy over my house. My dad would kill me. Really? That's kind of strict if you ask me. Yeah. How do you think I feel? I can't do anything when my dad is home. Anyway, I just needed to complain for a second. We have each other's numbers now. That's all I needed from you. I guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. All right. Bye bye me. Yeah. I'm really going to show you why I love baking so much. So you'd been better look forward to it. Oh? Didn't you say you were just going to give me the dirty work? Well, I was. Just saying that. It's not like I could act like in front of everyone that I was looking forward to this. Wait, really? Well, kind of. Just because I never got to bake with someone else before. That's all it is, so... All right, I get it. Sorry for overreacting. Anyway, I'll be heading out now. See you on Sunday. Ah! Never mind. Oh, God. I can't believe this. Natsuki is going to be coming to my house on Sunday. My anxiety shoots through the roof. Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, there's no telling what might end up happening when we're outside of school. More than that, she told me that she was looking forward to it. Is this the chance I have to make something happen to between us? Or is it too early for that? Only time will tell. But until then, I won't be able to take my mind off it. I seriously can't wait. Okay, it's already Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Natsuki's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. I wonder if she'll act any different when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, she's been texting me a lot. We sent each other one after exchanging numbers to double check, but it turned into conversation. She's almost a different personality on the phone, using tons of emoji and cute language. She also really likes complaining about things, but I kind of saw that one coming. But putting Natsuki aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left the club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's feelings aside when she might need me? I decided to visit Sayori before Natsuki comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering myself. Again, we used to play so often that we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses, like we were family. The house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. Sayori? Oh, thank God. Thank God she's okay. Hi, Darko. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Uh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayori's room is as messy as it's always been. I also recognise the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to meet Sinatsuki today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Suri had already left by the time we decided to the la la last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Ah, uh, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Natsuki then? Yep. There's more silence between us. Suri stares in a random direction. Everything about her behaviour is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I, I just wanted to see how you were doing after you left on Friday. When something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Suri so smiles, shaking her head. That's not, that's not good, Darko. Eh? Why can't it be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been thinking about me right now. But this is my just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> Sayori? I grab Sayori by the so shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? 
I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah. <laughs> Suri gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Darko. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? <laughs> You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Darko? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days, I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what I. That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy without anyone worrying about me. <sighs> I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me the entire time I've known her? Did she really want so did she really want so badly for me to not think about her? Why Sayori? Eh? Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do, I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little bit better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Darko. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. Haha. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone and be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. See, you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club. It feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why, that's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. Ahaha. <laughs> You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's all, That's what I'll do. No, Darko. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streak down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time, I pull her in a tight embrace. Ah, uh -huh. Toko. Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Darko. Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Darko, I... Suri barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want for it is to know I care. If you have it in you to call you yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayori finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Darko. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm, and that's really scary too. Sayori lets me go. As she does so, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. 
How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um, uh, it's what I want, I promise. I, I think that would be nice then. Yeah, Siri wipes her tears. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I wouldn't really forgive you. But it's almost time for Natsuki to meet at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sayori shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if, if, if I would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Uh... It's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. I look forward to it. Mm. Oh, okay. Uh... <laughs> That's not what I would have done. I would have stayed with her. Depression is very serious, guys, and... um. When I was depressed about two years ago with health anxiety and stuff, if you guys knew me from then, um, I spent a lot of time alone. And nobody understood what I was going through. Nobody. At all. And I had to get through it myself, but I had some really bad times where I wouldn't get up, I didn't make videos, I stayed in bed all day. But nobody understood, and... Um, I, I pushed people away. I didn't. I, I just wanted to be alone, and that that wasn't the best decision to do because it made me worse. Um, and I think it was because nobody understood what I was going through. Like there was a lot of people around me that were saying, "Just get over it, man up, get over it. You'll be fine soon." And it's just not the case like that. It's never the case with depression. It should be really. Um, it, it, it should be it's serious so I would have not done that in this game if I was in this game I would not have done that I would have stayed with her and um, Natsuki would have we would have I just would have rescheduled Natsuki's plans for like next like I don't know just I would have just spent time with Sayori or longer or something do you know what I mean I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house on the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy, but it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Natsuki is about to come over too. Wrong decision. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should focus on what's ahead of me. I spend only a few minutes back at home anxiously awaiting Natsuki's arrival. Before I know it, she texts me to let me know she's outside the front door. Without delay, I open the front door to let her in. Sup! Sup! Hey! I don't know what I was expecting, but seeing Natsuki in something other than her school uniform totally threw me off. Seeing her in such cute clothes makes the uniform seem totally unfitting in comparison. Jeez! Don't make me feel so awkward already! It's gonna be a long afternoon, so don't be weird just because you're not used to seeing me outside of school. Anyway, I'm coming in! I see you brought a lot of stuff. Natsuki is carrying a large bag that is probably full of baking supplies. Well, I didn't want to come all this way to find out that your ki kitchen is... I can't read today! I can't read! I didn't want to come all this way to find out that your kitchen isn't equipped for the job. You bought everything I asked you to do, right? Yeah, I did. Yesterday, Natsuki asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients if I didn't already have them at home. Good! Then I could count on you to do your part. Well, of course. I'm surprised to hear Natsuki suddenly saying that, rather than something snarky like she usually does. Could it be that she is a little different outside of school after all? Anyway, let's go to the kitchen. What? You're not even going to offer to take this heavy bag from me? Where's your hospitality, Darko? Come on. Since when did I need to be a gentleman? I grab the bag Natsuki holds out to me. Ugh. This is ridiculously heavy. <laughs> I carried that all the way here. Are you impressed? I see now. Yeah, I am impressed, Natsuki. It seems like I always underestimate you. <laughs> it's because I'm so small, isn't it, you jerk? Natsuki hits her fist into my chest. Hey, hey, your size has nothing to do with it. Do you really hate being small that much? Eh? Hey, um, it's not like I hate it. I mean, sometimes I like proving people wrong when they only think I'm worth my size. It's fun when I get to be small and also better than other people. But 
Jeez, never mind. What are you making me say? Don't think you can make me talk about weird things just because we're not at school. Are we getting started or what? There's a lot of stuff I gotta teach you. Haha. <laughs> what? That's a little bit more like you. You're more fun when you speak your mind like that. Hey! Now that you are treating me like a kid, I was just trying to be a little nicer, you know? And just because I don't have a mature and sexy figure like Yuri, doesn't mean you should treat me like... Ah uh -uh. Natsuki catches the words and her face turns red. Natsuki... Forget it! I didn't see anything! I should apologise. Hey? I appreciate that you were trying to be nicer. I should have been a little more considerate too. But also, if that's what you're thinking, then you should know that there are tons of guys who are into body types like yours. Uh, how would, how would you know that anyway? Just trust me on this one. Gross! Hey, was that to me? Who else? Man, let's just get started already. <laughs> you can all Sarah when girls call you gross. I finally found your weakness, Darko. Natsuki smiles deviously. Please spare me. Well, if Natsuki decides to dish out more insults like that, there's no way I'm not fighting back. But she's satisfied enough for now, finally starting to pull things out of her bag so we can get started. Okay. Before long, the whole kitchen is a mess. Spoons, dirty bowls, flowers, spilled fluid, and plastic bags are strewn about every countertop. The mixer isn't big enough to make all the batter at once, so we had to do it several times. Meanwhile, Natsuki's babysitting all of my movements to make sure I don't mess up her precious baking. Darko, where did you put the food colouring? The bread is going in the oven soon, so I need to fill the trays. I think it's still in the bag next to the table. What are you using it for? To colour the batter, of course. I'm making each tray a different colour. That way, even if the flavours are different, everyone can still pick their favourite. Ah, that's a cute idea. Are we doing anything like that with the icing? Do you want to? Uh, you're asking me? I don't really have the preference, so... Come on, you're not putting any heart into this at all. Can't you at least try to have a little fun? I'm having fun. I'm not really sure what Natsuki is trying to get out of me. Meanwhile, I see her separate, separate the batter into smaller bowls and put a few drops of food colouring into each. Ah, that looks pretty cool. See? It's not like baking, it's just about following instructions. The presentation is where you get to be creative and have the most fun. It's a million times more worth it in the end if just looking at it makes everyone's eyes lighten up. <laughs> like the ones you made on my first day, huh? I recall Natsuki proudly presenting her cat-shaped cupcakes and Sayori and Monica's delighted expressions. I wonder if I can make Natsuki proud like that too. Yeah, maybe I will use the food colouring then. Sounds like you're starting to understand. Just make sure you completely finish mixing the icing before you mess with the food colouring. Yeah, it's getting there. We were using the electric mixer for the batter, so I got stuck with a whisk and a huge bowl for the icing. Eh? The icing's still all lumpy! Are you even trying? Well, yeah. It's just, it'll just take a little longer. Jeez, I'll be here all night if you do it like that. Here, look. Natsuki grabs the whisk from me and uses her other hand to tilt the bowl back. You really need to beat the crap out of it. After a few seconds, the consistency of the icing has already improved. See? As if to emphasize, Natsuki sticks a finger in the icing and pops it in her mouth. I reluctantly start to do the same. Hey! Natsuki suddenly grabs my wrist. I don't want your gross fingers in my icing. Your icing, eh? Are you forgetting who did all the work? I start to fight back, trying to inch my finger into towards the bowl. Don't make me beat the crap out of you next. I'd like to see you try. I push harder, just enough for my finger to reach the icing. I triumphantly scoop some out with my finger, just as Natsuki tugs with all her might. Ah! The force of Natsuki pulling me, causing me to stumble, making her stumble in turn. Gross! my face whose fault is that there's a big blob of icing on Natsuki's cheek <sighs> she tries to reach it with her tongue but it's too far away jeez you know what take this Natsuki instead wipes it off with her finger before shoving her finger towards my own face you wish I'm faster I grab her wrist with my hand before it reaches my face Natsuki tries to use her other hand to fight back but I grab that one as well Not until you apologise for calling me gross. Fine, fine. I'm sorry for calling you gross. You know I don't mean it. It's just fun to see you react to it. 
You do that to me all the time, you know? Sing dumb things just to get a reaction out of me? You really shouldn't tease girls like that. Is that so? In that case, I probably shouldn't do this either. I took Natsuki's finger and put it in my mouth. Licking off the icing. <laughs> what? Did you just seriously... Uh... Natsuki is so surprised that she can't even figure out how to get mad at me. Her face is entirely red. Darko, you really shouldn't do that kind of thing to girls unless you really like them. You know that, right? What kind of question is she asking me just like that? How did the mood turn to this so quickly? I... Natsuki gla gazes me in silence. I notice her shallow breaths. Why am I starting to feel dizzy? Hey! Out of nowhere, the fire alarm starts going off. Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> that was the only chance I had with Natsuki and a freaking fire alarm goes off. Of course it does. Natsuki rushes over to the oven. Is something burning? I thought you didn't put the cupcakes in yet. <laughs> no wonder. You left a dirty tray in there, dummy. How could you make a mistake like that? You should have checked before turning the oven on. Don't blame me for your mistakes, jeez. Natsuki uses an oven mitt to grab the blackened tray out of the oven. She sets it on top of the stove. In another movement, the fire alarm stops. Anyway, I'm putting them in the oven now. Yeah. The tension from the moment before still lingers over our heads, but the moment has already been lost. I watch as Natsuki slides the cupcake trays in the oven, then I reluctantly pick up the whisk and continue with the icing like nothing ever happened. Ah, that smells so good! The cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven. As soon as Natsuki opens the oven door, a blast of sweet-smelling warm air fills the room. Look at how cute they all look! She proudly shows off the different coloured cupcakes in each of the trays. They'll look even better once we add the icing. Not like you need to tell me that. I brought decorated stuff, so I hope you can be get creative. Here, scoop the icing into these bags. Natsuki hands me some plastic bags. I have these nozzles that will make it look nice and fluffy. This one can even make flowers. We probably won't be using this it this time, though. What's this one for? I pick up one of the nozzles that has a much thinner tip than the others. That one's really thin, so we can... Used to make stripes and other patterns, but you can also use it to write stuff on the cake, like happy birthday or whatever. Oh, I see. That, that gives me an idea, actually. Eh? Well, it's a literature event, right? We could make it more literature-themed by writing a different word on each of the cupcakes. It would be fun to see people choose their cupcake based on a word they like. Eh? Uh, hmm? I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid, but that's actually a really, really cute idea, so... Haha. <laughs> Maybe I'm getting it from you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute. Come on. We're not at school. Nobody's judging. You can't dress and act like this and not expect me to think you're cute. Well... N Natsuki's voice trails off. Same to you. Hey, Did you say something? No, nothing. Let's just get... Let's just do the icing. Natsuki picks up the pace and fastens the nozzle onto each of the bags. There's a lot to do, so we shouldn't be wasting time. Here, I'll show you how to do it. Without giving me a chance to think about it before, Natsuki quickly moves on. She shows me how to apply the icing and then we each get to work. When we're finally finished, Natsuki puts them all aside, side by side to admire our work. Look at how pretty they are together. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Uh, I wish I could have won now. Well, there's no reason you can't, right? I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but my dad's making dinner tonight, so I really should save my appetite. Haha. <laughs> It's always the exact opposite in that regard. If she was here, we'd probably be down 10 cupcakes already. And she would still eat dinner. Come on, that's just unhealthy. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much of it as I can. Well, anyway, I was hoping we would have time for a banger, but I need to be home for dinner. How already? That's a shame. It's your fault for working so slowly. Should have thought about that. It's not like you'll always have this chance. Man. As usual, Natsuki places the blame on me. You can bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? If you and Sayori each carry some, then you could probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I can do that. And don't worry, I won't let her eat any. <laughs> I wish she would listen to me the way she listens to you. Ah, uh, yeah. I again think back to the conversation I had with Sayori early t earlier today. I felt so help helpless. Sayori always does listen to me, but at that point, it felt like she couldn't listen to me at all. Okay, I'm all packed up. Good work today. You too. 
I'll walk you out, I guess. Just like that, Natsuki is already about to leave. It feels like the afternoon went by in a flash. More than that, did I even take the opportunity to get closer to her like I wanted? Well, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for all the help and everything. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Natsuki. Hey? What you said before about not always having this chance. It doesn't have to be that way at all. I had fun today. You showed me how fun baking can be like you wanted. But aside from that, you can come over at any time, okay? I think that if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga or go out somewhere. Um, do you, do you really mean that? Natsuka looks at me tensely like she's trying to hide her expression. Yeah, I want to spend more time with you. Taco, I thought you only cared about getting this done. Uh, I'm sorry I, I had to leave so early today. I really didn't want to. I would really stay here longer if I could. I feel the same way as you, so... Natsuki suddenly gets closer to me. Wait, Natsuki! Standing inches from me, Natsuki looks up at me. I feel her fingers gently clutch at the sides of my shirt, as if holding on to me. Her rose-coloured cheeks and matching eyes fill my vision, along with her slightly parted lips. What is happening? My head starts to go dizzy as I feel her soft breaths against me. I felt it for a while now. Natsuki suddenly jumps back. <laughs> Sayori! Hey? Ah! Uh, hi, hi, Doko. Sayori, just now we weren't... Hey, hey, It's okay, Doko. I just stopped by to say hi. Ah! Uh, well, you should have just... You should have come a little earlier. I'm... I'm already on my way out, so... Oh, really? That's too bad. Yeah, well, I'll still see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just don't eat any cupcakes before then. Anyway, later. Clearly flustered, Natsuki hurries off and Sayori waves goodbye. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. <laughs> well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was really mean to me, so I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Natsuki, and how close you got to her. It makes me feel really happy that you've made such good friends. That's all that matters to me. Tears start falling down Sayori's face. That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Darko? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is spilling in heart? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I had just disappeared. Sorry, don't say that. It's true, Darko. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? Sayori, what I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring, caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I would trade for anything else. So even if that takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But, but... Sayori looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Darko. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that... That I might like you more than you like me. Sayori? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Darko, I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. And, and... That's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now, and that's what I'm going to give to you. <sighs> Guys, this is too hard for me. I don't want to carry on with this. I'm, I'm being serious. I can't do this. I can't do this, man. I'm not going to decide yet. I'm going to take a while to decide about this because this is really hard because I know what's going to happen. I, I see it coming. 
If I friend zone Sayori, she's going to do something stupid. Uh, Monica seems suspicious. It seems like Monica's told her to kill herself or something. Um, and I know if I'm going to friend zone Sayori, she's going to do that. Um, but if I say I love you, I know Natsuki's going to do something stupid as well. So this is really hard. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I will carry on, obviously. I will save here so we can make other choices so I feel less guilty. I will save here. You know, I'll feel less guilty if I save and then I go back and see the other endings for Sayori if I say I love you and stuff or if I decide to choose um, Natsuki instead. Um, it's hard, man. It's hard. And I know I'm going to get upset um, later on. I know I'm going to get upset. Thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Um, I'm not looking forward to next episode. I'm going to get upset. Um, but yeah. Okay. Lots of love. And I'll see you all next time.